To begin your machine buttonhole, you must first select a four hole button, a two hole button, or a shank button. Either way, you will be doing the same thing. First, you're going to measure the diameter of the button. This is going to be the widest area across the button. In order for the buttonhole to fit the button, it has to be this measurement plus the height of the button. So here we've got 7 eighths of an inch, and then I'm going to tip that over to see how big the height is, which is an eighth of an inch. So I will need to make a buttonhole that is one inch long in order to accommodate this specific button. Next, we're going to draw an eye shape. So first, you're going to have a horizontal line, and the length of this doesn't matter so much. But then we're going to draw on our one inch line to make sure that we are sewing at least an inch for our buttonhole. Then you're going to cross mark this so that you have a beginning and ending point. Your first step at your sewing machine is going to be re to remove the presser foot and to replace it with the buttonhole presser foot. In this case, we'll be, we'll be using a 3A. Next, you'll press zero for the buttonhole function and you'll see that that automatically changes the features in the computer of the, of the machine. Now we're going to be starting in the top left corner at those crosshairs of the top of the button where the one inch line is going vertically down. That's the line that we'll be sewing. Now you'll begin to sew down the length of that vertical line. And then when you get to the crosshair, you're going to stop, press the back stitch button, and then the machine is going to automatically do everything else for you. So it'll start with a stay stitch line that goes all the way up to the machine. You can clip that thread that it began with if you need to, and then it will bar tack at the top. It will do a zigzag bar tack all the way down the right edge of the buttonhole. It will bar tack at the bottom and then slowly do three stitches at the end. Just like that. So after you've clipped your threads, you have two different ways that you can cut your buttonhole open. The first way is using a buttonhole cutter. You'll put the apple on the bottom of the fabric and use the buttonhole cutter to slice the fabric in between the bar tacks at the top and the bottom. So that's the first way that you can cut a buttonhole. If you don't have a buttonhole cutter, what you can do when you're beginning is put a pin right underneath the bar tack at the top and the bottom of your buttonhole and then use a seam ripper to cut from one end to the middle and then the other end to the middle. I like to do this when I'm starting out if I am not comfortable with the seam ripper quite yet because then I won't accidentally cut through the bar tack and into my fabric uh, beyond the buttonhole. After you've done that you can take your pins out and now it's time to check and see if your buttonhole is large enough to fit your button. So go ahead and slide the button through and if it fits you've successfully created a buttonhole.